deployment. So is basically uh, for deploying the operating system. Okay. Uh, if you look at my creation of my CM. Okay. Okay, servicing. So this is the new. So I have a current version is 1606. Okay, this is the one which is installed one. That means after 1511, uh, I have upgraded to you know types. Then you know it got installed. This. So uh, you know uh, check for new updates so that you know it refreshes uh, sometime. If any new release, it gets deployed. I mean, download it to your local folder from the, you know, updates. Okay. So, from Windows 10 point of view, okay, what you can do is, could have sequence. Okay. You got a new options. Okay. From 15.11, you know, you got this option, upgrade an operating system from uh, upgrade package. That means your DVD source. Okay. So, what you have to do is, you should you know, create your DVD source the way we, we, we like earlier of uh, step one series. Similarly, Windows 10 DVD you have to create. I've created that. Okay, so I can click on that. Okay, next, so I can choose my whatever the you know is set. I can choose so the Windows 10 Enterprise Edition and then do you install update here. Yeah. So then application next. It creates the task sequence. Let's click task sequence one is the name. Okay. So sequence one is the task sequence. So under that, you know, it's a very short. Look at here. So at the first time it is taking uh, the RAM and the speed, all those things. And then if it just reading that, if it's Windows 7, it just upgrade to Windows 10. I get uh, all um, applications as it is. Okay, and things your data, everything come as it is. Okay. So, you know, completely new method of, you know, deploying or the Windows 10. Uh, and this can be, you know, advertised as normal way. And then Windows 7, Windows 7 to 10 can be, you know, deployed. Okay. And this is the one tab sequence which just opened. Okay. Create this tab sequence one. Okay. So you now I wanted to define, I wanted to show you, and as well it is uh, here, hard disk can be you know imaged. Uh, this new method and the remaining things are the same. Okay. okay. So if you know to apply uh, Windows 10 uh, from Windows 7, uh, you Windows 7 CD, and then you know you can uh, right click and you can you know uh, divide the star sequence. It gets you know deployed. That's it. Okay. Okay. If from Windows 10, sorry, for Windows 10, you know, you have the servicing options. Every quarterly uh, current branch and, you know, long term batch, they're in a different format of operating system altogether versions. So, to address that issue, so from 15.11, this is a new servicing model. Okay. So, uh, to create your servicing plan, so this is you know for long you know servicing plan example then your patients example for example operating system deployment UAT this and then a uh, release ready current branch okay then we know how many days after Microsoft has published a new upgrade you wanted to you know uh, wait and deploy say example I want to wait for 15 days after releasing new version of Windows 10 okay and if language required so here this is very similar to your Windows updates, okay. So, so uh, no specified set. So, so I hope now I can give you as a hundred. So then, an example, okay. The next, so very experience with the patching. You have that means uh, this depends on getting right? as a new plan is completely changed to um, 
it also can be you know deployed like very similar patching patching experience you have this okay it's you know deployed that's it run now so if something is there you know it gets success that's some updates here in that case only okay so like this i don't have any updates here okay i should actually internet for this i just an internet so if I have anything, it will come here, and then you know this service plan can be you no know, run. Okay, that's it.